Holy Father, gracious God, we come together one more time on this preparation day. Father, we just want to praise you and thank you for all that you have done and what you'll continue to do for us. Lord, without you, Lord, I don't know what we will do, but with you in the vessel, dear Father, we can smile at many storms. This morning, dear God, we are here to thank you for all that you have done for us. Lord, we are not here to ask you for anything, even though there are so many things to ask you for. Lord, cover. Uh, thank you for covering us with your blood. Thank you for dying on Calvary's cross for us. Thank you for everything you have done and what you continue to do for us. In the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you and praise you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, amen, amen, and amen. All right. Uh, good morning. Praise the Lord. Thank God for another Friday. Yes. Last Friday. But he kept us in spirit. Hallelujah. What a good God we serve. Yes, he's awesome. He's worthy. And there's none like him this morning. Searched the whole world and didn't find anyone. Can't find nothing or no one to compare that to. Mmm. We praise this morning. I just thank him for waking me up in my right mind this morning. Oh, glory to God. He is my everything, my all in all. My sustainer, my keeper, my deliverer, my healer. I mean, Gilead he is this morning. And I just praise him. Thank you for the word that we have been taught day after day. Morning. Hallelujah. Help us, Jesus, to apply into our hearts, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. That, Lord, that we will continue to go in, in, in Matthew 28, Lord, mm. 18. We need to do the Great Commission. Yes, yes, yes. You say, give us power authority to go and do that which he has called us to do. Hallelujah. So we as one's men, but we are children of the free, so we are free to go. We are at liberty all when it comes to him and his work this morning. So I just want to thank him. Thank him for the friend I want to marry for the family and the sacrifice day after day, morning after morning. Praise the Lord. Give God a praise. Jesus, he's still on. So I just want to thank you. Continue to use him, Lord. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to provide for him. Oh, glory to God. So this morning, Lord, and each and every one else on this morning, Sister Bronze, Rudy, those from Africa and everyone else that's on this morning, Lord, let us walk the, the pathway and fight the good old fight of faith. And hold our eternal life, God. Because what if you faith not, you shall reward us, my God. So let us give you glory, continue to give you glory and praise and honor. Oh, yes. For my day this morning, God. For each and every one that you place in my life, mighty God, I thank you. And Lord, help me not to take anything or anyone for granted, Lord Jesus. Yes. Lord, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you. To serve you in spirit and in truth. And yes. to do what you call us to do. I give you glory, honor, and praise this morning. Remember the sick and afflicted, the homeless this morning. God, do yes. incarceration this morning, God. Yes. Remember this the fighting. To keep us safe in this country, Lord, and we want us around the world. We just ask that you just be with each and every one this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. All right, Sister Brown. Opportunities for everything. Most of all, the love of God. Thank you for each 
and then for one, we'll make it on this part line. Okay, so let's see you all. And uh, I just want to thank Ben and Michael also for this strength that you have given. But able to be on my And I just want to thank God for my families and friends and, and brethren. And just yeah, this is all I have to say this morning. Hey man, praise the Lord. That's a lot. I just want to give God honor and glory who saved my life. Who guided me and strengthened me and helped me to wake up this morning and started me on my way this morning. And to get the Michael for waking me up and sister waking me up this morning and uh and uh seeing another day. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. I give God the honor and glory for everything He has done for me in my life. So, a good until now, Father. He's just been my guide, my shelter, my all in all. I just want to give him honor, praise, and glory uh, to his name. And to thank him for my children. Thank him for them being in good health and strength. And guide them in a very special way. Send a wedge of protection around them. I just want to thank him for them. Thank him for my children, my grandchildren, great grand. Send the ways of protection around me and help for people that's been around me to encourage me and help me to keep my strength and my faith in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And uh, me and guided me. I just thank it all of y'all. Thank you, Brother Michael, for explaining the word of God to me and helping me to understand. Give God a praise. You deserve it. I just want to thank you for everything in your family. Giving them all that glory to God that uh been blessing you and guiding you and helping you in every way. Family is a good thing. And uh we just have to pray for each and every one of them. And just thank you for the uh speaking to shut in, guiding them, give them strength. People that's going through crisis, thank you, Jesus, for helping them too. Our brothers and sisters overseas and in other countries, guide them and strengthen them and help them uh, with the wisdom of knowledge of Jesus to love and hold on to his unchanging hand, no matter what you're going through with. I just want to give them praises and glory and let them know that we are praying for everybody. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I just want to thank God for everything. Thank you for the Sabbath that's rolling on. Thank you, Jesus. For that peace and path, the understanding that He knows we need, and just thank you for everything, Lord. In in Christ Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Amen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and um have uh, this opportunity to thank my God for this precious moment. Really, God is good. He is good at all. He is good to me. He is good to my family. Yes, uh, since last week, I have been fairly sick. I have been fairly sick, and I and with my father, we have been fairly sick. But because God have, He has mercy. He sees mercy to his people. God yes. has been, I, he has been healed to me and my father. Now we are okay. We thank the Lord because uh, we, we, like I was, uh, I had a pain in my uh, back pain. My church was not good. My father was having the headache. But because God is really good to us, yes. He healed me and my fam and my fathers. I thank the Lord for the healing that He has healed my. Amen. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Go ahead, Sister Patricia. Sister Patricia, you have a testimony? All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, Let me take this opportunity to thank God and to give thanks to the Lord for what he has done to us, for the children. This week, I thank God on Monday, the 24th. It was a birthday for my, one of my oven, at my overage. We were celebrating for his birthday. I thank God that we did the ceremony successfully. God is good. And keep praying for all the children that I'm taking care of. And keep praying for the project that we have right now. Uh, we got the letter from the government that they're soon coming. So we need to, at least one thing will come, they will find that we have finished the building for boys, the building. So I thank God for that. Keep praying for that. God will provide the way. Amen. Amen. All right, Sister Frida, are you able to talk? To give thanks? All right, Sister Patricia, go ahead. Give your testimony and then sing a song. Yes. I give thanks to God for the life. I give him thanks because he gave me up this morning. I thank him for everything he gave me. I have food, but I can hope, I can feel, even if I'm not okay. I thank God for the prayer line. I thank you for God of my strength. Give God a praise. Amen. 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 Yes, I alone the world. I don't know what you are, you are, you are, you you are, you you Yes, Sajo, Nazamene, Zamene, Zamene, Papa, Mavu, thank God for everything. I thank him for everything. For my beautiful wife, for my children, even for my bonus children. Uh, you know, God is so awesome. And I, I thank God for keeping us alive. Uh, sometimes it's not that easy, but God is good. He's awesome. All right. Um, 
Father God, let the words of my mouth be yours. Lord, just uh, keep my voice and my mind clear so that I can uh, do your work. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Okay, anyone knows what the topic of this week's lesson is? Yes, it is uh, the triumph of God's love. The triumph of God's love. And I, I don't know, have, have any one of us loved someone really, really good? Yes. Oh, my, my, my. You know, I, I, I said it before, and, and I can say it again, that sometimes when you have children, even when they have done things that you don't want them to do, you know, you and, and they may have gotten into trouble, but you still love them, even though you advise them not to. And that's the kind of love that God has for us. I look at my beautiful wife, and a lot of times I said, it's because of the love that God has for me, why I am able to love my wife. You know, the way how she treats me. Because I have treated God really rough, really bad. But he did not give up on me. He loved me anyway. I don't know how to explain that kind of love. More than the best way for me to explain it is to exercise it to others and 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 for all the people even on the line and wherever you can go and brother michael pass by there you will find out that wow god is good because he helped me to show others the kind of love that he showed to me I believe that's the best way I can put it. And when we show love, we will be triumphant. Praise ye the Lord. So my first question is, will God one day dwell with us? Yes. Yes, that's his promise. And he kept his promise by... Oh, my, my, my. That's our hope. That's our hope. That's why I live for him. That's why I'm willing to die for him. Because he's one day. This, Like I said several times, of most people who speak to me, I tell them this world, the way how it is, is not our final home. All right? And it's important for us to understand that. Will God one day wipe away all the tears from our eyes? Yes, he will. And I'm saying praise the Lord for that. Because as, as a man, as a man, believe you me, I was taught that man's supposed to be what? Tough. tough. Man's supposed to be tough and don't cry. If you cry, you were a wimp or a sissy. You know, that's, that's the kind of way how I grew up. So, sometimes I find tears come into my eyes. Sometimes they are tears of joy. Sometimes, you know, God just move up on my heart. And I, I say, wow, it is a wonderful thing to love the Lord. But God loves us in spite of. Will there, yeah, will there come a time when there will be no more sickness no more pain, no more debt. I'm telling you, that's why Revelation 21 and verse 4 is my favorite verse. Because when I look at my beautiful wife and see what she goes through, and I know that's not her. You know, I said, thank the Lord for a verse in the Bible like Revelation 21 and verse 4. 
that one day there will be no more sickness, no more pain, no more dementia, no more cancer. Praise the Lord. Why can we today live life with purpose and joy? Why? Why can we live life with purpose and joy? We can if we trust in God. Praise the Lord. Because God made us a promise that yes, better, 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 better days, hallelujah, are coming. And we have to stand on his promises. He said he was going to send his son. And he sent his son to die for us. So he told us that. As a matter of fact, he told the disciples. He says, you know, the, the, he, he left. The angel told him. He said, the same way how you see him go, he will come back. Praise the Lord. All right. Yes, sir. You know, I tell you, God is wonderful. Yeah, yes, did, did, did Roosevelt... You know, did Roosevelt, even though he had polio, told the people of the United the country of the United States that better life and better time, better world is coming in the horizon? And the answer is yes. He was crippled with polio, but he knew as a man that better days are ahead. Praise the Lord. How many of us have learned something from uh, something uh, from God about the hope that is coming? How many of us have learned something from God about the hope that is coming? It is important that we study about the things that God has in place for us. Yes, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of us uh, live with a hope of tomorrow, no matter what we may go through or the difficulties we may go through? I tell you, we... We all should have we, a hope and trust and have faith in Christ. Praise the Lord. The for, us, for our sins and... He made a promise to us, and that's our blessed hope. Yes. In him. Yes. Praise the Lord. Have God triumphed in the great controversy? Have he triumphed in the great controversy? And yes. the answer is yes. yes. You know, he is just waiting to destroy Satan and sin. He is just waiting to destroy Satan and sin. And the memory verse says, uh, And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and yes. he will dwell with them, and yes. they shall be his people. Yes. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more debt, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. I don't know if that don't bring you any kind of joy. If yes, that yes. don't bring you any kind of peace, no matter how difficult life may be, I don't know what will. And in Sunday's lesson, it says, hope in the time of trouble. Yes, and I, I like, you make sure you read Revelation 22, 11 and 12, Daniel 12, 1 and 2, Jeremiah 30, 5 to 7. It says, um, when probation is closed, will there be a time of trouble greater than any other? And the answer is yes. It is yes. And I'm telling you, have God in the past caused one nation to have plagues and the other not? Yes. yes, 
Yes. I don't know. Do you remember what nation, what nation had plagues and the other not? Egypt. Egypt had plagues. Yeah. And God's people were living in Egypt. Yes, but can. no plague, none of the plague came and affected them. It's going to be the same way because God's saints will be sealed and the, the wicked who chose Satan, they will have the mark of the beast in their forehead or in their hands. And they, they, God will protect his people again from the plagues. You know, I tell you, it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It says, yes, it will plagues be poured out in the last days? Yes. And I hope we are paying attention because these are practical things that is read. You can read them in the Bible. And the answer is yes. yes. Will God's people be affected by the plagues? And the answer is no. So I'm telling you, people will be mad at us. But yes, praise the Lord, God will put a protection, an edge of protection around yes. his children. At this time, there will be no hope for the wicked because God would have left the right hand of his father. And, you know, it's going to be weeping. It's going to be pain. But all I can say, praise the Lord, hallelujah. God made us a promise that he, he will never leave us nor forsake us. Praise the Lord. In the time of trouble, he let us know. All right. Praise the Lord. Okay. Go, let's go over to the Monday's lesson. Say hope in Jesus' soon return. I want to let us know. That if there was not a promise of Jesus' return, I would not be sitting here teaching this class this morning. Because it would not make no sense. If, if life was like how people put it today, that it is the fittest of the fittest will survive. Okay? I would not be sitting up here doing this today. Have mercy. But I want to give God the praise, the honor, and the glory yes. knowing that He made us a promise of His return. How yes, many of us have hope in Jesus' soon return? I say all of us, all of us, not, not should, yeah, we have that blessed hope that Jesus Christ will return and he have kept all his promises. And if he have kept, he have kept all his promises and he will keep this promise. So all I can advise us, let us be faithful to Christ that when he comes, he will take us home. Is Jesus coming soon? I, I know. Some of us are gray-headed and old. And we've been hearing this ever since we were babies. But does that discourage us from being no. prepared for his coming? It should we not. We should have still had a hope. Praise, praise the Lord. On the faith of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. And the promise Hold on to his unchanging hand. Hallelujah. In spite of the trouble of, yes, we may go through. It says, yes, is sir. there troublesome time now and will yes. be in the future? Yes. And the answer is yes. But yes, we, sir. and when you get a chance, you write this text down. John 14 and verse 1. Because it let us know. Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house there are many mansions. 
And I believe you me, I have a little measly little house right now. But I can't wait for my mansion. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All of us should be happy knowing that God gone to prepare a place for us. And he said that we one day will have a mansion. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the, uh, this other section here in Tuesday says, The millennium on earth. Yes, sir. When, Je when Jesus returned, uh, what is going to happen to the righteous and the wicked? The righteous don't be with Jesus. All and, right. Uh, the going to be... Uh, with Satan and this, or going All right, business. let me let me help, let me make it a little plain because how the people are listening. All right, so the so the righteous dead will rise up. All right, the the righteous dead will rise up, and the wicked, the righteous living, will be caught up to 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 be with Christ in the air. And the wicked will be slain by the brightness of Christ. And they will stay dead on earth. For how long? A thousand years. For a thousand years. They will stay dead on earth for a thousand years. And during that thousand years, what will happen to Satan? He's supposed to be... Uh... He's gonna be a change. All right. The, the scripture. Yeah, let me help. Let, let me help you out on that one also. The scripture say he will be chained. He will be in a a bottomless pit. But these are all figuratively. He will not literally be chained. But he will not have anyone to tempt. Because the righteous the righteous will be gone up into heaven to be with Christ for that thousand years. And what is that thousand years called? A millennium. It's called a millennium. Yes, they sir. will be in heaven with Christ that thousand years. And they will have a chance to look over the books to see why? Praise the Lord. And I, you know, I'm jumping over to Wednesday's lesson because time is going. You know, it says judgment in the millennium. You know, during this, uh, I mean, let me ask a question. It says, what will the righteous be doing during the thousand years in heaven? All right. They will be looking over the books. They're looking over the books. God will give them an opportunity. I don't know if I'm going to want to look in any book to see why a loved one did not make it or a relative or a friend. But if you are curious enough and want to find out why sister so-and-so did not make it, it is recorded in the book. And we can look it over. Have oh, mercy. It says, yes, will, will we know why a friend or a relative did not make it to heaven? And the answer is yes. If we are curious enough, we will know why they did not make it. Because God has recorded everything that takes place. Will anyone miss out on heaven without first rejecting God? And the answer is no. If you, if, if you don't reject God, heaven will be your home. So right now, all I can advise us not to do is to reject Christ. Did Christ die? To save all of us? Yes, he can. And the answer is yes. 
He yes. died to save all of us. But we have to want to be saved. He will not force us to accept him. You know, he will not force us to accept him. What will happen to the wicked dead after the thousand years? And it's important for us to know that. They will rise again. They will rise again. And Satan, Satan, go ahead. Yes, Satan will have his thing going for him now because now he has people to tempt. And he will try to tempt them to say, let, go, let us go and take the city of God. Oh, have mercy. And then while they are going to try to take the city of God, what will happen? Rain down. It's supposed to rain down. Uh, fire and brimstone. brimstone. Yeah, fire and brimstone will rain down and destroy Satan, destroy sin, destroy the wicked once and for all. And they are not going to be sitting up there burning all like how some people teach it. No, they're going to burn just, a matter of fact, you could think about Sodom and Gomorrah. They did, they did not change their ways. They were lifestyle sinners. They got the opportunity to change their ways, but they did not. And God rained down fire and brimstone and burnt them up. Um, the question is, is Sodom and Gomorrah still burning today? No, it's not. No, it's not. It's ashes. No, it's not. Because, you know, this, the scripture says, the meek shall inherit the, the earth. Yeah. So, so one day, one day, God going to restore the earth. Back to its perfect cemetery without sin. Praise the Lord. And that's why we go over to Thursday's lesson where it says two and two eternities. Two eternities. All right. It says, Will will both the wicked one day declare? Both the righteous and the wicked one day declare the fairness of God. And uh, okay. yes, they, one day, one day, everyone will understand that we serve a fear God. A God who gave us all the opportunity, right, to, 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 to accept Him. And it's only because of our rejection. If we do reject him, we will be lost. So I'm advising us, don't reject Christ. It is easier to be saved than to be lost. Because we don't have to pay anything to be saved. Because Jesus Christ died on Calvary's cross. Will every knee one day bow down before God? And the answer is yes. You go ahead and you read Romans 14, 10, 11, Revelation 20, 11 to 15, 2 Corinthians 5, 10. Read all those verses. You'll find out that God will triumph because of his love. He will triumph. Praise the Lord. He will rise triumphant. He have already defeated Satan. But, oh, hallelujah. But he will rise out triumphant. You know, will the wicked one day remember every sin that they have ever committed? And the answer is yes. Because all the sins, if they did not ask for forgiveness, that's one of the reasons God have me teaching people about sin and forgiveness. Because if you ask for forgiveness for your yeah, if you ask for forgiveness for your sins, 
the sins are canceled. They are buried. And only you can pick them back up. And then Friday lesson says, Will God's people one day find a peaceful home? Oh, hallelujah. Yes. Right now with all the, the fighting and stuff going on in Kenya, in Israel, in Ukraine, my, 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 one day we'll have a peaceful home. One day, one day hallelujah, we'll have a peaceful yes. home. It says, will one day, will we one day get a glimpse of how much God loved us? Yes. How much he loves yes. us? I, I tell you, I am able to love my wife because of how much God loves me. Praise ye the Lord. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Have a happy Sabbath. God bless you. I'm telling you, if you don't get some hope out of this lesson, you will never get no hope out of the Bible. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah.